All right, uh, welcome to this episode number 12, which I'm gonna call Unreal, because I'm gonna test uh, compare EV to Unreal. But before that, I'm just gonna mention quickly that I emailed uh, Clement Foucault uh, about uh, which feature he's working on for uh, upcoming feature for EV. But I haven't gotten a response yet, and he probably has uh, a bit of a vacation. I hope he he kind of really deserves a vacation because he's been working uh, really hard and pushing out all these features for EV for SIGGRAPH. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna wait until he responds so I can set up a scene and try it out as good as possible. Um, but until then, I want to make this episode, which is gonna be super quick. Um, because it's an interest of me, because I'm mostly going to use 2.8, uh, the EV view port, uh, to set up, uh, create uh, content for game, um, game assets, and uh, then I want to be able to uh, tweak material settings and all the textures, and bake and uh, bake them and fix them and stuff like that, and uh, hopefully the outcome is going to be pretty similar to the game engine, uh, which which I'm using is Unreal, but uh, I hope I've seen in the notes before that should probably also target Unity. But uh, I guess it, this is going to be a big release for us that are creating games or trying to create games um, and uh, want to use Blender um, as our main content creation suit. Uh, so anyway, this is the material mode in 2.78. So I made this kind of tombstone just quickly with uh, the brushes uh, I downloaded from Blendswap. So I have a video in my uh, workflow playlist about these brushes from an uh, uh, environment artist at Blizzard called Michael Vicent, Vicenti. Uh, so you can check that out uh, if you want to learn, uh, learn more about that or try them out. So I, I went uh, nuts on this one and just sculpted away and I also made this kind of like rune um, because I wanted it to glow and uh, test out the emission shader. So uh, here in 2.78.8 I baked everything. I have a, a low poly mesh which, um, which I'm using in EV and Unreal. So uh, let's, with that said, let's jump to EV. So here it's in EV and you can see that the the mission is glowing and I have a bit um, I have a texture that's controlling the roughness so it's uh, a bit smoother and reflective in all the crevices um, which I'm basically used to just the AO map uh, if we go into texture paint we can check all the uh, just the textures so we have diffuse normal ambient occlusion emission and roughness um, and I guess uh, most of you are familiar with this metallic uh, shader in Eevee. And, and I guess some of you have heard in the podcast that they might remove it. And uh, I would really <coughs> like to make the point that we should probably keep it besides the principal shader. Because I think that was what, was, uh, that was what they're talking about. That um, the principal shader should be in the main shader for Eevee. And it makes totally sense if you're gonna uh, like work working internally with uh, cycles and stuff like that. Then, uh, then I'm probably gonna use the principle. But this one, uh, the metallic, I really like because it's so close to game engines, uh, game engine shaders, especially Unreal. Uh, and I guess it's also uh, probably close to Unity. I haven't using Unity um, at all. Uh, I, I mean. <laughs> at least at one year or something since I switched to Unreal or maybe two years but uh, uh, anyways uh, this is uh, yeah, or just the textures so let's uh, we can I can just rotate this light uh, so let's jump into Unreal and check it out so I already imported it, I just exported the uh, meshes and FBX and have all the, the textures you have to like drag and drop uh, into Unreal and then you have to uh, 
create the material uh, yourself. So, but anyway, here's the material, and we have exactly the same, not, not exactly, but almost the same texture channels. So base color, metallic, specular, roughness, emission, uh, normal, and ambient occlusion, uh, which I'm not using. Uh, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna plug that in really quickly. So we have a more fair comparison. Uh, and we can actually well I spin spun this around a lot. Anyway, let's look at the model itself. Let's see if I can just make this a bit bigger when we're looking at it. So <clears throat> there are some artifacts I haven't uh, had an issue be before. That might be that I uh, marked some of the these uh, edges as sharp, but otherwise uh, the texture channels looks okay. You can actually see the roughness affecting. Uh, similar to in EV that is a bit more smooth in the crevices and uh, all these uh, shops and stuff like that and the emission is working but uh, here in Unreal uh, I am having a I have a environment texture it's on it's like this default scene layout but anyway it looks good and um, I really hope we uh, keep the metallic um, the metallic shader in EV, even after 2.8, because I think there's a valid point for all of us that's going to use uh, 2.8 as our main content creation suit for game assets. Um, so I'm not going to go with the principal shader then, I would rather have a metallic one like this one, or I'm going to create my own uh, shader group. But if we're all going to create our own shader group, um, then it's going to be a bit hard. Um, to export to Unreal because uh, I know in Modo, for example, you can export uh, export a asset and uh, you get the mesh as a FBX exactly as in Blender, but it can also export the material and all the texture channels. So once you get the material in Unreal, uh, or yeah, when you get the model and the material and all the textures, which you have to make manually um, currently in Blender. Which isn't a big deal to when you're gonna check out like one asset like this, but if you're gonna make a game and probably make between 50 and 100 assets, um, then you're gonna waste a lot of time just to create materials and uh, import all the textures and hook them up. But anyway, uh, that's for when 2.8 is officially released. We could probably start working on. A add-on that does all that for game engines like Unreal and Unity which would be really cool um, so I'm stoked the future for us uh, that's not gonna make animations with EV but more um, more geared towards create, uh, creating game assets is looking really bright um, so I'm psyched about that um, so yeah this was a really short video and it's gonna be I'm gonna call it Unreal or something, uh, and I hope to get a mail soon with uh, some new features to test out in Eevee. But until next time, bye.